Hello everyone and welcome back to Channel Mum. Um, this is my 12 to 13 week update. Now I haven't been really really bad and skipped a week um, but I had my scan <laughs> and they have put me forward a little bit so I just kind of wanted to catch up with everybody really. Um, now I'm already getting closer to 14 weeks which is crazy to think that at one moment I thought I was 12 and now I'm almost 14, it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm really pleased to say that symptom wise, even though I, won't, I don't look great today, um, it's a Sunday and we've been moving back home. You might notice in the background that like if you've watched videos of mine before, this will be a familiar setup because I'm no long, longer at my mum and dad's which is amazing. Um, but yeah, we've been moving back in and tidying up and it's taken ages because we've had a pretty big renovation going on so I haven't got makeup on and I haven't got like pretty clothes on and it's not because I'm poorly, thank goodness. I'm just really tired. Um, so symptom wise, I am still pretty... Uh, I feel better but I'm definitely still nauseous at times but the best thing this week is that I'm finally able to drink things again and not feel immediately sick. Drinking for me has been a massive issue like everything I've drunk has just made me feel queasy and I've been really dehydrated as a result so that's been brilliant. I found that 7up is really tickling my taste buds at the moment but it has to be 7up it can't be Sprite or any sort of other lemonade it's got to be 7up which is really weird. Um, um, but yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm still really, really tired. I'm still finding work really hard because it's just like taken out of me and by the time I get home, I am shattered. Now, obviously the most important thing that people want to know about is the scan and all of that. So I do have um, a picture. Well, I have a few, but now we went in and I was meant to be 12 weeks and four days pregnant when I had my scan. So it was a little bit over 12 weeks anyway. And we went in really nervous and we got in there straight away and it wasn't too much of a wait, thank goodness. Um, but we got in and then she put the little like node on my belly and straight away a baby popped up and I was just looking for a flicker of a heartbeat and I felt like I was holding my breath and then when she focused it a little bit I could see it and I just I felt myself like crying I felt my eyes welling up and I reached over and grabbed Mark's hand and I'm getting emotional already but I just I couldn't I couldn't believe it. Yeah, like the baby within the first 30 seconds was all perfectly there, like sat like in in nice like profile position we could see everything and then like 30 seconds later they waved and then they just went bye and then wiggled and turned their back to us so we couldn't see anything but a little wiggly spine getting comfortable and then our scan overall probably took about an hour and I had to go out for two walks I had to go and empty my bladder a little bit I had to empty my bladder fully and in the end she managed to get the measurements and baby is absolutely fine I've still not had the results of my um blood test yet for Down syndrome and Edwards and Patel's which is like a new part of the um, screening now. I've not had those back yet but measurements seemed fine so I'm really happy about that but it means that like because of little wiggly one the photos are like quite clear but still quite blurry because she really had to work hard to find them so this is our little baby and they're so so cute. Now this is the best photo, so I'm going to show you this one. But the main theory is, is that we might be having a little girl. Now, I want to talk nub theories with you all. Because I don't know if this has run true for anybody. But loads of people have been looking at my scan photo. And the majority have said girl. Now, the whole idea is, is that, like, when your baby's at this, like, gestation, they all have, like, a little nub, like a little pointy outy bit in the obvious area. And that either turns into a penis for a boy or a clitoris for a girl and like at this stage there are slight like differentiations between like what it looks like depending on the gender of your baby but it is still soon too soon to tell for definite now if it's a boy you kind of it's it sticks up over 30 degrees in angle from the baby's spine and then you tend to see like what looks like a little kind of like 
ball sack so it's a bit more like this um and then with a girl um it's like below 30 degrees and um in terms of the angle of it's at and it's usually quite like forked at the end so looking at this um let me get the right picture i don't know if you can see but that is the nub there and that looks suspiciously forked to me and a lot of people have said the same now i don't really go for all of this like i'm not like a sucker for um, gender theories and we honestly have no preference but have a look and tell me what you think in the comments below um like I said I'm really really not fussed but I'd love to know like if you had like a nub theory and it was right for you or if it was wrong and what you think this, this baby is because I find it really quite curious um we have booked a private scan for 16 weeks which is only in a couple of weekends actually um because a we've never had a private scan before and we're going to have like the 4d ultrasound as well which is going to be amazing and B, we are just really curious and we'd like to know. I know that some people love to stay team yellow and not find out, which I think is amazing, but I just don't have the um, patience, really. I just don't. Um, but that's just me. So, yeah, that is um, pretty much everything so far. Like, I am just... I'm back at home, things are getting better, I'm slowly starting to feel more normal again and yeah so I will show you my belly, don't forget to leave me like a comment down below if you think it's boy or girl because it'll be interesting to see who's right when I get to my 16 week scan but yeah I will shut up now and I will show you my, my 13 week tummy. So this is my 13 week belly and I think it's safe to say that I have definitely popped because this is it in its full glory and I really can feel the hardness now and the uterus creeping up so it's not the most beautiful bump in the world because you can see my stretch marks but this is baby so thank you so much for watching don't forget to click subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video because that would be brilliant and yeah i will see you next time and if you've got any questions don't forget to leave them down below um i'd love to love to answer them and love to talk to you so yeah <sighs> i'm off to go and relax now <laughs> thank you so much for watching Bye.